Hello everybody, I'm Marsin64, and I bet you weren't expecting this for a while, or I, I haven't done a Dwarf Fortress video in a while, for that I apologize. Again, I sort of got out of Dwarf Fortress, and I got addicted to other things, and it was like, I'll make a Dwarf Fortress video tomorrow, and I never did, and that was months ago. So, now, I'm finally going to try to get back into Dwarf Fortress, because I got a new computer, I did a... a some videos with Sad Face a couple days ago. I'm gonna try to get back into Let's Playing because it's summer! Woo! Alright. So, here's my fortress again. This is like, what, the second freaking video of this fortress? It is currently the sixth year, I believe, of this fortress. I really don't remember. Here's the uh, castle layout so far. I'm still building it. But my people are very busy right now with building other things. The biggest problem with this fortress is that frickin' uh... Let's see here. Oh, these guys are about to... Yeah, they start to death just a few moments ago. Um, is that buzzards fly around a lot. What the hell are you doing here? Oh, great, you're bugged. Um... Some weird thing involving a bug, I think. Because there's no... There's nothing there. Um, I'm going to talk about bees in a moment. Let me change yours so you're not dealing with bees right now. Zass it. Oh, a giantess came, by the way. I didn't want to show that because I thought I would die. Um, basically, you have a chance every now and then of some mega beast showing up like dragons and hydras and giants and I got a giantess right after my a goblin invasion which was a major pain in the ass because my people were already weak and had to go for, to the hospital for whatever uh, who are you Zassets remove now he's going to run off because he's thirsty <laughs> hopefully no one's going to get stuck in that bug again now you see here these are my bees my beehives, you can check what's in them by pressing T. You have a marble hive with a bunch of live honeybees. And um, if you have honeybee, like, hives on your map, which you should if you're in a forested area, then, um, then y someone with the beekeeping task will take the beehive and move it to this hive. And after a while, it'll grow to where it has royal jelly and a honeycomb. And from there, you could either use that hive to make another hive. It will take out, I think, the royal jelly and the honeycomb. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I do know that after a while, it'll grow to where you can um, split it. Saves colony for split. And with the, these others, I have, let's see, I have three to split it and these which you just get the uh you, they just get the um honeycomb and the stuff and the, it kills the bees and then you use these in order to uh move it over whoops wrong button okay uh that's about it with that although in order to make the hives there are many different ways to make the hives you can use clay which is new actually see what is this oh food All right um, I forgot, I completely forgot about this area. I haven't even been to this area in ages because it's just been pumping out stuff. Let's see, how's my food going? I got good food. Let's see here, move down to crap. Okay. Uh, this computer has a really weird thing where I have to hold the function key in order to use the F1 and F2 keys, which is annoying. But anyway, here's the main layer. Here's all my stuff. Not really much to talk about. I do have a lot of stuff to talk about, though. Um, you can make hives in the craft store shop. And also, another thing that I want to mention that I found out. See these? These are basically barrels. These are pots. Pots are so much easier to make than barrels. Because with barrels, yeah, you need wood. 
which is not as easy to come across as... Oh, crap. My music ran out. Damn it, music! Fine, I'll just play this song again. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm still getting used to this new computer. Anyway, with wood, you have to, you know, chop down all the trees, and the elves can get on your ass, and you can run out, and you won't have enough room to hold your, all your food. But as you can see, I have a lot of wood. That's why, I, because I'm using pots, which you can make in the craft store shop using rock. Rock pots. And they are so much better than barrels. At least to my idea. They do the same exact thing, but I just find them a lot better. What is this? Ironing knife. Or boning knife. That's weird. Hmm, okay. Let's go down a bit. See, here's the, all the bedrooms and the main place where they all stay. Bucket full. <laughs> Alright, and then go down more, that's still that. My miners are busy, so it's taking them quite a while to mine out all my sleeping quarters. Here are the tombs. I mean, not the tombs, here's the, uh, um, nobleman room, and again, it's taking them forever to mine that out. Because they're working on a mega construction, and that's right, I'm actually doing a mega construction. Here's the tombs, rather half-assed right now, but they'll get better, I swear. Here's the mega construction. And what is this, you might be asking? Well, it goes all the way down. Whoops. To the magma layer. Where it's being held, it's going to be held up by this. This pillar, made out of nickel. And I'm going to, once, I'm going to, like, uh, channel all this out. It's going to take forever, because I did this the hard way. But once they mine it all out and then channel it all out, it's just going to be a pillar going all the way up here. And the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, it's it's a pain in the ass to have your uh, freaking people go down a hundred levels to get to the mag to get to the magma, right? So what do you do? You move the magma up to you. It's going to channel the magma into this room right here, and then. You can see this pillar, the uh, piston as it is called. I'm going to have that fall into the magma, and the way the magma works is that it won't just like get pushed out to the left here as it would in real life. It gets pushed all the way up to the very top level. And then, for some reason, it's not like it. Magma can be kept in by bridges, but. The cave-in won't be kept in by bridges, so I'm going to have, like, the top level have bridges all around here in order to keep the magma in when it moves up, and then I'll channel it into a more safe area for the, um, for my magma people. So it's at level 19 instead of 70-something, or 100-something. Level 102. So yes. That's a bit better, and it makes it a lot faster. It'll take it takes a long ass time to do this, but while it's doing that, I'm, you know, having them use charcoal and stuff, which isn't that bad since I have a buttload of wood. But again, magma is much better. It's just really clogging up my diggers. Anyway, let's take a look at some people because I don't know what else to do in this video. Um. This is basically just a rundown of my fortress. I'm getting back into this, guys, I promise. I'll be making more videos of where I'm actually doing things, not just, Hey, I did this with the fort, guys. Because now I'm actually back up and to a good area where I can show off what I'm doing. There's the giantess uh, skeleton. Partial skeleton. Some goblin blood. I completely forgot traps, by the way, so I have traps there, and I'm currently trying to put in some traps, but unfortunately, the frickin' uh, person who puts in traps is also a digger, so, you know. Oh, well. What can you do when you live in a shoe? Oh, here's some traders. I already traded stuff, though. So, yep. Might as well talk about some people. There's me. What am I... Hmm, don't have many friends. 
Well, at least I've been happy recently. Okay. Uh, you, you're eccentric. You have a lot more friends than I do. You killed one person. Good job, Sam. Um, boing. You're about the same as me. Oh, but we're not friends. I hate you, boing. No, no I don't. You're cool. Again, if you want any of these guys, just ask. We got a mayor recently, and he's probably really pissed off that, uh, he doesn't have the rooms that he wants. He irritated having to give someone food and slept without a proper room. So, yeah, that's... But, unfortunately, my diggers are digging, and, uh, they can't be bothered to deal with you. There's a legendary stone crafter who crafted all those pots and finally became legendary. But he came here as, like, a master anyway, so... Let's see. <laughs> Patrick the Pizza Guy! I don't honestly know what your actual job is. Um, let's take a look. You're a grower. Oh, you're a beekeeper. You're my beekeeper, but your title is the pizza guy, because you told me you were a pizza guy. So I made you a pizza guy. Let's see here. Fibonacci. Why are you installing colonies and hives? I don't know. I guess you didn't have enough to do. And I have a lot of more surgeons and stuff, because a lot of people got injured. Let's take a look at that, actually. Health. Oh, well, by now I'm pretty sure they're all healed out. Fibonacci actually, like, broke a leg. So, um... Who is this? Oh, some dude. He can't... Cannot stand... Motor nerve and sensory nerve and... Broken tissue. Who the hell is this? Melville? Smashed apart. The fourth finger, the left hand... Oh, I'm pretty sure he was attacked by buzzards. Brought to bed to rest. Evaluate, evaluate, clean, receive ropeweed dressing. Receive mahogany cr crutch. And by now he should be good, because, uh, thank God the frickin' hospital has been fixed where it actually sort of works now, and they don't just lay around being completely useless. Yeah, he, he's still, well, his fourth finger is still damaged, but at least now he has a crutch, so he can walk around. Alright, I don't know what else to say here. My army, my peoples, I have a bigger ar god damn it, I have a bigger army now, but uh, it's still pretty much inadequate because I need armor, and uh, this, again, I went to a place with no iron. And it's really bothering me, but, oh well. It's alright. I used the iron from these goblins in order to smelt some stuff, and it's all fine and dandy. Nothing else to say. Goose skeleton. Alright. I think that's about it for this video of Let's Play Dwarf Fortress. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. For more, let's play Dwarf Fortress. The surgeon has organized the party at the well. That's definitely a good idea. Hopefully none of my... Okay, good. None of my people know him, so they're just still digging. Alright, see you then.